All right, guys, so I know there's been some questions on this particular controller. Um, so I decided to do a little experiment. So let's excuse the messiness. This is just really, really rough. Um, SN95 fan hooked up to um, Infinity. This is either the Infinity controller or the Mazda controller. I forget which one. Uh, I'm running my Mega Squirt that I built myself along with the stimulators used to do testing. So as you can see, it is a running engine, quote unquote running engine idling around a thousand. Um, I got some various gauges here. Don't pay too much attention to. Uh, these are the important ones, coolant temp and the duty cycle. You'll notice fan is off. Duty cycle is at 100. Um, so yes, this works. This is a ground switching PWM. So this would be what, we, what we've been calling PWM minus or PDM, PWM uh, ground sink. I forget how you turn. I've seen this called so many different things in the last few days. Uh, but anyway, I found a spare output on this. Um, this is going to go in my car, um, but I've been doing some testing on here. Found a spare output, hooked it up to the fan controller, as I explained in the other video. And I found that it does work, but you need to invert the duty cycle. So as you can see here, 100% is keeping the fan off. I'll go to my table real quick so this is a really really rough dirty table so as you can see here at 75 degrees I have a hundred percent duty cycle and then I actually drop it down to zero zero is actually full speed um, so it's even it's running on PWM inverted I guess or minus we'll call it uh, but you have to invert the duty cycles over what I said before so when you were running PWM positive where you were outputting a voltage to a ground um, the off would be 0 to 20, and then anything over 20 would turn the fan on up to 100. So as you can see, this really crude table is built the opposite way. Um, but I'll show it to you. So um, if you turn these little knobs here, this one here is labeled, I don't know if you can see a coolant, that will advance the coolant temperature so I can you know, make things happen to do some testing. So I believe at 100 degrees, it will drop to, let's leave it at 50. And as you can see, the fan comes on. Uh, it's not full speed. I don't have, the wire size is probably not appropriate, so I'm not gonna run it at full speed much. Um, but I will raise it to zero. And as you can see, we're ramping up. I'm gonna drop it down just because I don't want to overload anything. Maybe go partial. Yeah, it's dancing around somewhere. It's really hard to tune that fine. But the fan is running and I am able to control it. Um, but I did have to invert the duty cycle. So as you can see, I'm running around 65 right now. And then as the temperature increases, that will... Sorry, the wrong direction. As the temperature increases, the duty cycle drops and you can hear the fan speeding up. And then as you go to 100, the fan will shut off. So anyway, hope that answers some questions. Thanks.